Okay, I think this deck is gonna be fun. Maybe we should still have Scarlet Crusaders and stuff in here. But, uh, ooh, Unleash is kinda good, but I think we actually want Explosive Trap. Or, yeah, the Mad Scientist with higher priority. Maybe Snake Trap is not as good as I think. Uh, because its downside, damn, is that it can draw Snake Trap, uh, when a Mad Scientist can draw Snake Trap instead of Explosive Trap, and we probably just want Explosive Trap. Oh my god, Feign Death at some point in this game is gonna prove amazing. I just don't know when. We're gonna get to kill this guy off. Might wanna Feign Death. I think we don't top this just yet. We're, uh, we're making an investment here. He'll probably do another one before attacking you. Ooh. Oh god, we have to do Feign Death just to make sure that, uh... Please don't be Snake Trap Explosive. Yeah! Oh yes, oh yes. He'll go face anyway, right? He might do some trading. Seems too good to pass up on. What I'm doing here is giving him uh, less desire to... I'm trying to give him less desire to trade with these because they die to like cheaper minions. So attack interface he goes. And almost everything dies. Sweet. Okay, I guess we want to keep the beasts alive, makes sense, right? Oh, we managed to get the board. We have uh, piloted Sky Golem next turn, if he doesn't play anything big. Uh, I guess we want to do that. Oh my god, we can get such value. Do we trade? Are we worried about the face damage? Or him hitting something and finishing it off? I feel like we trade because we're going to need to make room in. Like we're going to want to play this next turn then feign death the turn after. For massive value. We still have space. For now. I feel like he's likely to trade anyway. He doesn't have AoE, so... He's likely to start trying to kill these off anyway. Might want a deadly shot, actually. Snakes. It had to be snakes. Um... I guess we want to... Feign death on that. Sorry, or rather, yeah, okay. I think it's time. This is a pretty good deadly shot. And a pretty good feign death. And I feel like we, well, we don't want to get him to 20 yet, I don't think. I feel like we may as well play the snake trap. At some point he's gonna... Oh. Uh, oh, well, we're burning his cards at least. Gonna attack in and generate three dudes. One, two, three, four. I guess we want to kill this. Should have done this first, because if it's Doomsayer, we are pretty, pretty, pretty very screwed. 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 21. Okay. So we can pop him. Okay. 
I'm feeling pretty scared, even though in theory... So this can't actually draw anything. But I feel like we want to pop him and leave this alive so that the core hound will have to go into that. As opposed to the flame imp into that. Well, I could do it with these, then I have few, fewer valuable things dying. Alright, well let's do what we know we want to. Definitely don't want this to die. Now I want to do some combination of charging into these. This might get us more value later. So I guess we do this. Ah! Feels like we don't have enough minions. I mean, I should have played the explosive trap. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I have those guys, I forgot. I guess that kind of helps against his hero power. We have nice trades, I guess we gotta kill some of these. Uh, well now we can get another snake trap, right? I guess we can rely on this hitting him, in theory. I guess we wanna keep more minions out. Still feels like we don't have enough attack power on the board. Where are our other big things? Fugan and Starleg, man, that's what we really need. There we go. So that's gonna attack into something. I think we just go face. We want to get the three more one ones out. Oh, that was a really weird choice. Okay, Fugan time. Oh man, this is getting hard. We don't have as much of a board as we want. That helps a lot against the hero power. Thank you for attacking first. What was that one? Okay. Do we trade or just go face? I guess that trade we have to do. We want to keep this alive. Ooh, Nerubian could be pretty good. This trade we definitely do. No point in going to anything with that. This can start killing our stuff off. Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep our board. Come on, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this. Ah. Oh, I can't even kill that. Come on, more minions. Oh yes, that is a great fucking one. Gives us two more two twos, even if it gets hit. Oh man, he keeps hitting us in the face. Two more times and we lose. Feign death. Three, seven, nine, eleven. I think we gotta give him more targets. We're getting a bit low on life ourselves. Okay. Not face. Makes me feel a little better. 7, 9, 13. 15. I'll leave him at 7. I think we wanna leave. He must have 5 Molten Giants by now. I think we want to leave him at 12. Can we do 10 damage? Yeah. My hope is that, and that leaves us 4, 6, 10, 13, 15 damage threatening. That he'll play like 5 Molten Giants, thinking that's an amazing turn. Damn it. Come on, hit this. Take it. 4, 8, 12, 15. Two more Molten Giants. 
Yep, I'm not shaking in my boots. Cool. We get him. First attempt with the Hunter deck. We're on a roll, man. Let's take a look at the deck list. I don't think the deck is perfect, I'll admit. I think it could be improved in terms of chances of winning by having some strategic things like uh, with Divine Shield, like Scarlet Crusader. Um, but it does have a fun factor. You know, it has Feign Death, um, which can give you... You know, you don't get to play it a lot in Constructed or for kind of good reasons. Um, Deadly Shot's mostly in there to deal with, like, Core Hounds and uh, Fire Guard Destroyers. Uh, without needing to give up your minions. Uh, but it's Snake Rattle. It's, oh, and I don't think... I'm not sure where the Snake Trap is right. It feels like it sort of should be good, because it gives you 3 one ones, which is great against Rag's Hero Power, but uh, we kind of got it when... Well, at least the first time, when our board was kind of full. But anyway, uh, the main theme of the deck is a lot of Death Rattle. Uh, minions to so that even if they die to his hero power rags hero power you still have other minions in play um, so we have timberwolf mostly in there to combo with unleash it's just too good a combo to pass up on um, but even that i think i'd probably take out because if you unleash you mostly just want the one one doggies the extra damage they do from timberwolf is probably not critical but i think i'd put in a scarlet crusader instead of that Undertakers to synergize with all the death rattle minions you have. Explosive Trap um, as a defense against his early flood of 3 threes. We saw it do wonders in this game. It killed, uh, it got all of them down to really low health. Um, Fane Deaths because you have so many death rattle minions. Snake Traps we talked about. Haunted Creepers because they generate more minions. Again, we didn't actually, s oh, we did see a Haunted Creeper this game. Uh, Mad Scientist to help you pull out your Explosive Traps and Snake Traps, which are important. Merubian Eggs, uh, kind of insurance against the second phase of his hero power, because if it hits it, it becomes a 4-4, and you do have Feign Deaths. Deadly Shots, we talked about. Unleash, we kind of talked about, because he'll flood the board early on. Piloted Shredders are nice and durable. Fugan and Stalag can get Thaddeus out, who even survives two rag hits. Sludge Belch has Death Rattle. Piloted Sky Garlands have Death Rattle. Savannah High Main has Death Rattle. And Sneed's Old Shredder has Death Rattle, all summoning additional minions. That's the deck. Pretty fun one. We did manage to win on our first attempt. Uh, let's take a look at the next challenge. See you later.